guys, I'm Anand, your tech guide from TechStore, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the latest HP Omen 16 series of laptops. This is the Ryzen 7 as well as the Core i5 and Core i7 variants. The Ryzen variants, the AMD Ryzen variants are called XD series and uh, the Intel uh, i5 and i7 variants are called WD series. So we have the Ryzen 7 uh, variant hands-on with us today and we will dig deep into this particular laptop. So watch this video if you are planning to buy this laptop to know the internals, the way the whole thing is or if you've already purchased, you can watch this video to know how to upgrade the RAM, SSD, replace the battery and uh, so forth. So let's dig deep. So this laptop, uh, the AMD Ryzen 7 comes with this Ryzen 7 7840HS series of uh, processors and the clock speed is 5.1 gigahertz. It comes with uh, eight cores and 16 threads, a very good processor at around one lakh rupees here in India. This particular laptop is uh, fit for video editing and uh, gaming as well. So this comes with uh, 16 GB DDR5, 5600 megahertz RAM, which is upgradable up to 64 GB. It comes with a 512 GB NVMe SSD Gen 4 which can be upgraded up to 2 terabyte and uh, the screen here is a full HD IPS panel. It comes uh, with a NVIDIA RTX uh, 4050 6GB graphic card and uh, it, the maximum TGP is 120 watts. It comes uh, with a 230 watt adapter. It's a pretty heavy brick uh, that you have uh, and it supports uh, fast charging as well. Let's look at the exterior and the different uh, port options that this laptop offers. On the top, they have given this completely matte finish. Uh, they have removed the customary rectangle square uh, Omen uh, from this particular series. They've, they've just uh, embossed Omen over here and uh, it is not metal. It is completely polycarbonate. Uh, there are chances of uh, finger smudging over here. A little bit of uh, smudging or some oily stuff if your hands are oily it might just get stuck as soon as you open up uh, you will see a three-sided nano bezel you will have a webcam shutter over here webcam with a shutter the screen is a full hd ips 165 hertz uh, refresh rate panel and it has got uh, 250 nits uh, brightness. The screen looks very bright and very vivid, but the screen color correction is not all that great. So you cannot uh, really use for a lot of photo editing and a lot of video editing. Uh, we'd not advise you to do it for that. The keyboard uh, here is not a full size keyboard. It does not have a numpad. Uh, as you can see, there are these keys over here, which is a little oddly placed. So when you're uh, working, you might want to find the enter just on the top of the top keys, but it's not that way. The power button is also placed over here somewhere in the middle of the keyboard on the top it could have been ideally placed on the rightmost or the leftmost corner but it is not that way the keyboard quality is very good it has got a single zone uh, white led backlit keyboard it does not have four zone rgb because uh, only the variants that are above this that is the hx series of uh, core i5 variant that is a wf have a four zone rgb this variant does not have a four zone RGB. Over here, you can see perforations for air inlet and uh, the screen is 180 degrees. Uh, you can see the screen goes uh, completely 180 degrees. The insides are also having that same matte jet black finish continued. You have the 16 uh, engraved over here, 165 Hertz, 7000 series uh, inbuilt uh, artificial intelligence in this particular uh, processor, RTX uh, 4050. The rectangular trackpad, the touchpad is fantastic. It is very responsive. multi gesture trackpad over here. Bang & Olufsen rating, so it has got Bang & Olufsen speakers over here. So this uh, entire thing looks very, very professional. It does not look flashy like a gaming laptop. That's a very good thing. Although it is made out of plastic, uh, the polycarbonate quality is very, very high. So let's have a look at the left side ports it has got a ethernet port hard drive indicator you you have a type a usb port which is also uh, which also works when the laptop is powered off you can use it for charging your uh, mobile you have a heat dissipation vent area over here it's a good thing to have headphone mic combi over here and uh, in the front there are absolutely no ios whatsoever uh, this part over here uh, allows you to open the laptop very comfortably in this little gap over here on the right uh, you have uh, a c type uh, port which is uh, used for power delivery as well as for uh, external monitor output it is not thunderbolt 4 there's no rating for thunderbolt 4 at this point of time another uh, two usb a ports hdmi 2.1 and uh, you have a barrel jack dc adapter 
and you have the charging pin indicator also over here nice little design over here on the rear uh, there are absolutely no ios whatsoever in this series uh, there are huge dissipation vent areas over here so good amount of thermal heat can be passed out using these vents on the exterior the base is uh, pretty clutter free as you can see the fans are uh, distantly placed on the two corners and good amount of air vent has gone in the bottom firing speaker over here are left and right we will check how the speaker quality is the rudders are also differential in size the height on this one is less and the, the top one the height is a little high so it gives a sort of a good curvature when you're keeping the laptop good amount of air can go inside so let's dig deep and see how we can uh, upgrade the ram ssd battery and how the entire thermal setup over here is first thing first we need to flip the laptop and you'll see these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, total eight screws over here, which you need to remove with the help of a star screwdriver. Take a screwdriver like this and start unscrewing them. So these screws are uh, very, very small. These are over here. So don't confuse with the top screws. Even these two screws are the small ones so only these two hinge screws are the longer ones other all screws are the be very very careful and you take a triangular prior like this and start protruding from one of the sides and the top cover will come out like this so this is where the RAM is, this is the battery, this is where the M.2 SSD is, these are the fans. So let's start by removing the battery first. You need to remove the battery's notch over here. Just need to remove the power connector, remove it like this. And then you need to remove the screws. Six screws in total have to be removed and the battery will come off. So, if you want to just replace the battery, this is a WK06XL battery. It's a lithium polymer battery, 83 watt hours. So just need to take a similar battery if you are here only to replace the battery. You just take a similar battery and insert it back and you are good to go. Coming to the part where the SSD is, this is the screw which is holding onto it. You need to remove this screw. And this screw also and the SSD will come off this is the heat sink on the SSD that exists this is the way it is uh, packed inside it's basically sandwiched this SSD is a sandwich between these two metal frames and this is the thin film which uh, takes a lot of heat so just take a similar SSD like this m.2 gen 4 nvme ssd you can take up to 2 terabyte nvme ssd and upgrade uh, by swapping this particular ssd with another one take a similar one so when we have to fit it back we need to put it in like this over here and uh, put the ssd back in the slot and ensure that this point over here is on the screw cover and then take the top cover and you need to just press is uh, fitted here coming to the part where the ram is uh, use your two thumb fingers and uh, remove the ram like this so this uh, so it has got a 8 plus 8 GB DDR5 5600 megahertz RAM over here as you can see you can upgrade this particular laptop up to 64 GB take a 32 plus 32 GB DDR5 5600 megahertz and uh, you can just put it like this back and press on the top and the RAM sits fine same with this particular slot also so this is the Wi-Fi chip over here so if you want to replace the Wi-Fi chip you can do so this is where the speaker is connected one over here this entire uh, wire has to be removed one two three and four screws have to be removed and this uh, 
speaker connector has to be changed so you can replace the speaker also this is the backlit keyboard connector this is the keyboard connector this is the processor fan this is the processor fan connector over here this is the dc jack supply in another video we will show you how to completely remove the motherboard the fan and do the cleaning of this particular uh, laptop so let's put the battery back so the battery connector goes inside Let's put the cover back. Press on the other side so that the bracket is Just do a visual inspection. Let's see if the laptop opens with a one hand operation very very comfortably it opens absolutely fine no problem whatsoever let's have a look at the top flex very very low top flex but the only thing is it uh, wobbles a little when uh, you're working and a uh, little bit of shaky desk and it starts to wobble a little you would have not uh, the keyboard flex also is almost zero as you can see very very low keyboard flex very tight uh, keyboard placement over here the keyboard quality is also very very good although we would have expected the keyboard to have full zone rgb but it does not have that let's check the speaker quality of this particular laptop it's got a bang and olfusen and uh, let's have it hands on pretty good the speaker quality is awesome on this particular laptop so this is the webcam quality of the hp omen 16 xd series of laptops this is the way the video looks and uh, the audio is the video and audio both are very good uh, the full xd video as well as the dual array mic microphone have captured very good audio also this my friends was a video showing you the review as well as the upgrade process of the hp omen 16 2024 variant this is the ryzen 7 variant that we have uh, reviewed today this is the xd 007 uh, laptop that we have a hands on the ryzen 7 uh, is a 7840 hs with 8 cores and 16 threads a very powerful processor clocks up to 5.1 gigahertz it's got a 16 gb ddr5 5600 megahertz uh, memory upgradable up to 64 gb 512 gb gen 4 nvme ssd upgradable up to 2 terabyte 16.1 inches uh, full hd ips panel with 165 hertz uh, refresh rate a very very good screen uh, for this particular uh, laptop uh, although it is a 16.1 it does not seem like so it just the form factor is so nicely Uh, built in to look uh, make it look like a 15.6 itself the build quality is uh, although it is uh, polycarbonate but the quality of the plastic use is very very high it will not make you feel any cheap laptop in your hand it's a very premium laptop when you feel it in your hands although we would have desired it would have a four zone uh, full rgb but it does not have it is only got a single uh, white uh, led backlit over here and uh, the keyboard quality is fantastic although it is not a full size keyboard uh, it has got a it does not have a numpad and uh, the graphic card on it is uh, RTX 4050 on this particular model as well as on the Core i5 13 uh, generation so both the models will absolutely look the same the same uh, outlook as well as the same process to upgrade uh, the ram and ssd the only thing that will differ is the processor the webcam is also fantastic it's got a webcam shutter uh, the quality is absolutely amazing the the omen gaming hub uh, gives you a lot of statistics and makes things very 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 easy for you to configure the weight is around uh, 2.37 kg it's got a 83 watt hour battery and it will give you a comfortable battery backup of around uh, 4 to 5 hours on a normal usage uh, and for gaming 1 1 and 1/2 hours of uh, backup it will provide it's got fast charging 50% of the charge can be uh, done within 30 minutes of charging this particular laptop all in all a very good packaging under 1 lakh rupees here in india and uh, hp omen uh, uh, the name says it all it is targeted at uh, gamers and content creators but we would not really advise it for uh, people who are into real high end uh, video editing and photo editing because uh, the color correction on the screen is not that great it's got uh, inbuilt mug switch that's a, it's a good addition this my friends is the video do let us know your suggestions and comments and uh, do not forget to subscribe to us thank you so much for watching guys